Although, as far as final dungeons go, I do appreciate it, because it's not simply like, hey, walk to the end. There, there is a lot to do in here. I like the uh, using the chain, the giant-ass chain as a bridge, just yeah. to show you the scale. Yeah, that, that that's good. Oh, it's you guys. Yeah. <laughs> good, we all made it. Was that sarcasm? Yeah. Good, we all made it. Yeah. Rolls his eyes. Never seen anything so creepy. Not even that manatee show. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't worry about that. But it was real creepy. Clickhole occasionally does videos where, like, X profession tells you the worst thing they've ever seen or hope not to see or something like that. And this week's was um, marine biologists tell us the worst fish they hope never to discover. <laughs> it opens up with this kind of, like, middle aged man saying, like, I hope I never find a fish with the face of Ted Bundy. If I did, I'd just blow my fucking brains out. Yeah. So the one was, um... Uh, alien abductees tell us about their experiences, and he's like, This alien brought me and my friend up to his ship, and he told us, There's this planet where everything is just necks. Like, they're living creatures, but they're just necks. It's the worst fucking planet in the universe, and I just had to tell some people about it. <laughs> Alright, thanks. And then he sent us back home. <laughs> just had to let someone know. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Apparently the monsters inside Ultimisius Castle are all random levels. Which is weird. So it's, it'd probably be important to level up to 100, because you never know what you might encounter. Also, our, 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 our powers have been sealed. Oh, great. What that means is we don't have access to I... anything but attack. Yeah, item magic, GF draw, command ability, limit break, resurrection, and save are all um, not available to us. One time when I played through this, I, I think I played through this twice in my life. One time I didn't have a guide, and so I just could not find like the final monster that we needed to defeat uh -huh. to unlock these. So I was like, well, what do I really not need? And I think I, I think ultimately I'm like, I don't really need command abilities. Like, I'm not using those as much anyway, so fuck it. I use magic, GFs, items, obviously, limit breaks, of course, resurrection save, draw even, but command abilities, I can do with that. So is there a monster per one of those things? Yes, yes. Um, whenever you, there are eight monsters total. Uh, whenever you beat one, um, you get to choose which one you want to unlock. So it's not like one corresponds with a particular ability, it's just, oh, you defeated mm -hmm. one, which one do you want to unlock? Uh, so you get to prioritize. That's good. Yeah. And the first of them is just right up the set of stairs. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my home. This isn't your home. I know. I just stand at the top of the stairs. <clears throat> okay. You jackass. Also, these bosses, each of them have... Um, most of them have, anyway, uh, a GF that you could have drawn earlier, but could have missed. So, Siren, Alexander, uh, Eden, even, which you get from Ultima Weapon. Um, they're all available in here. So, if you went through the whole game and missed those, now you have a chance to get them and finally develop them. But at this point, if you've come this far, you don't need them. So, Except maybe Eden. So that thing, its mask just broke. Yeah. And now it's just... Check out my creepy face. This yeah. is even weirder. Check out my, my creepiest pharaoh face. Magic summon, what? Well, I'm just gonna keep hitting you over and over again till the end of time. No, no I guess not. <laughs> oh, now your thing is poison, silence, and darkness. Oh, you missed me, even though you're totally wrapped around me. With your erotic tentacles. Whoops. There he goes. <laughs> arriving today. Oh, my other circus book is arriving today. Sweet. I ordered one called Under the Big Top, my season with the circus, which is about some guy's experience just traveling with the circus for a season. Nice. Yeah. Try point. Man, I can go for some try point right now. Now I'm thinking of try tip. <laughs> go through the door at the top. Okay. Mega elixir, sweet. Although at some point I apparently found more mega elixir because I, I used one. Whatever. I 
Donnie Darko was just down there jerking it. I like how the chandelier had to like load different frames of its animation and to change the perspective yeah. as it went up. <laughs> Oh, hey, buddy. Come on. There we go. This thing just is down here wanting to get fucked up on this ancient wine. <laughs> then we bust in. Hey, can we have our power back? I guess, but I'm real mad about it. It's all, like, flying all drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever I don't use, I don't like. Thanks for, the, thanks for the hint, I guess, but I'm just gonna whip you. I'm just gonna whip you a whole bunch. Because guess what? You can use all the ele elemental attacks you want. I got Ultima! Whatever I don't use, I don't like. Well, whatever you do use, we don't care about. <laughs> it's wholly irrelevant. So, Soya! I wonder if I can flick this thing with darkness. Let's see. Nah, that would have been cool, though. Seems to only be using Mega Spark. I think it counter attacks with Mega Spark, which is a little uh, frustrating. Because I'm just gonna cube attacks. Put those back to back to back. There we go. Damn Quistus. <laughs> Whipping the shit out of that thing. Yeah, I'm pissed. I'm gonna go home. It's been so long since I've been home. I don't even know where home is anymore. Do we have homes? Do we have homes when time has been compressed? Can I just go to bed? I just wanna go to bed. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah. Hmm, disgusting. Cool. Rocket engines. Sweet. Come on. Let's cross the chandelier. Come on. Come on, Skull. You can do it. I believe in you. There you go. There you go, melon boy. Hi, right, buddy. You're just hanging out. Looks like you're your super rated asshole of a mouth. You just see fucking Alucard <laughs> in the background. <laughs> Show me what you got. Show me what you got. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's see. What is a uh, how many auras did we get? We got a lot. Oof, a whole shitload. That's good. Yeah, more than enough. I thought I got enough. Yeah, for, like and no one else could get any more. So Gilgamesh showed up. Has nothing? That's good. Ray Bomb. Huh. Because they just wanted to reuse that animation for turning around. <laughs> Guys, we spent a lot of time on this. I was this gonna animation. say, we spent a lot of time on it. Yep. So from this point on, viewer, I'm basically just going to be relying on squalls on the break to try and end fights quickly. It's all you need. It's all you need. It's basically this game's Knights of the Round, except far more accessible. There we go. Renzo Kukin. Hopefully I get Lionheart. Nope, rough divide. This one's lame, but it still does the job. This could be bad. It's casting Ultima? Yeah. And it probably won't be too bad. I think Squall will survive at least, and it's not like anyone needs experience. There we go. Are you dead? Okay, now you're dead. 
thought that Ultima would be a lot more effective. <laughs> it generally tends to be. Remember that guy from Six? Oh god, I'm not that guy from Six at all, am I? Oh god, I'm dead. I'm just dead. Elam guard. Hmm. Oh, Elam. Elemental. Okay. It's those pesky Elams. Yeah. Um. Command ability. I kind of want to be able to save. Yeah, saving's good. But I don't think I found a save. Oh, fuck. No, I gotta go with Resurrection, because yeah, Chris yeah. is dead. They forced my hand there. Ah. Uh, Let's see if I found enough paintings. You don't need all of them, you just need the ones for the... Let's see, it's... Vividarium. The title is... Oh yeah, you can kind of see it down there. It's like oh, Vividarium yeah. Intervigilum... Yeah. Something. Intervigilium and Viator. Vividarium et intervigilium et viator. I'm sure that's butchered Latin. In the garden sleeps a messenger. Oh no! Spook fog! It's like when a demon farts and there's just this spook fog hanging yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, Oh, hey buddy. Guess I'll face your wrath. I guess. As I told the viewer earlier, um, from now on, it's basically just Squall's Limit Break. Nice. Yeah. Like, Squall's Limit Break, if you get lucky with it, completely trivializes many of the bosses, because he. Remember how many times on the slash hit? Yeah. This is like that, except it hits even more. So he has his first round of attacks where he can hit between, I think, four and seven times. And then if you get lucky, he'll use Lionheart, and Lionheart hits, I think, 17 times. How would the old buddy you made? Yeah. Meltdown. So that's no vitality, right? Yeah, so they have no physical defense. Come on. Which makes uh, Squall's on the break even more powerful. So if you're fighting Ultima Weapon and you get lucky, he'll just use Lionheart and completely demolish it in one round. Take you to the blasting zone. May as well hit that drama a bit. I don't know what it does, but I want to deal with it. This one's so dumb. You can use this on the space station too, <laughs> and it still comes up from Earth. They got to that point in development, and they're like, what? Oh, oh well, oh well. Oh, you're already dead. <laughs> Fell apart so hard! <laughs> Yay, Squall's Limit Break. Irvine's is similar, because his pulse ammo will do like 9,999 damage a shot, and you can just sit here hitting it. <laughs> Time compression is basically a sorcerer did it. Oh, huh, cool. You need this key to get out. Uh oh, spaghettios. Squall, are you farting again? Yes. But when you're eating elixirs all day, it's it's it, it looks weird. Is this an iron giant? It looks like it's basically the iron giant model, but it's red. It's a red giant. Oh yeah, I haven't summoned Doom Train yet. Who has Doom Train? You don't. But Squall does. There we go. Oh no, painful. <laughs> There's like a dent in the blade and like a tiny scratch in Selfie's shoulder. <laughs> ah, ooh. Uh. Come on, Doom Train, get out there. There we go. Runaway Train. Also, we're gonna see another old buddy. It's so goofy. This is the goofiest. <laughs> It's our buddy that we didn't suplex. Doom Train. 
Looking so worried. Oh, well. That wasn't much damage, but I think it did give it vitality zero status. That's the important part. Yeah, its body is glowing purple. Which is the stupid way they tell you that it has vitality zero. Smack you good. Right in that unprotected junk. Not getting very lucky. Shit. Oh. Not getting very lucky with these. Still did like it. Still a good damage. And it inflicted him with darkness. You can barely see it, but it's there. Yeah. If only they were cool, cool sunglasses. Yeah. I'm dead. I wish that stuck throughout all of Final Fantasy. The cool sunglasses? Yeah, yeah. that would really tie the whole series together. Yeah, that's the connecting thread between all these multiverses. The cool sunglasses. Okay. okay, good. I don't... Diamond armor. Oh, shit. Something else they do that I didn't realize is... They keep everybody um, afflicted with... Oh, I'll move fine, that's what I want to get rid of. They keep everybody afflicted with the um, sadness status, which affects the, the limit bar. It's the one that makes it blue and makes it fill up more slowly. Okay. Apparently that reduces your damage by 30%. Really? I had no idea. Look, look at this son of a bitch. So they keep that up the whole time, and suddenly their damage is being reduced pretty significantly. You combine that with, like, you know, wall so that you have protect and shell on, and now the enemy can't do much to you, really. I don't know what Gargantua does, I'm just gonna blow him up. <laughs> but first I want to try and steal from his dumb face. I'm really digging the uh, set of this castle, like, everything's pretty cool, pretty mm -hmm. spooky, got a lot of depth to it, a lot of darkness, like, it's just really cool. Oh, God damn it! not curse. I don't know what curse does. Huh. I thought it prevented you from using limit breaks, but it looks like it's going to petrify me in 24 seconds. Oh, a boss that you can poison, silence, and inflict darkness to. Interesting. This might be a lion heart, because this is one of the... Yeah. It's a lot. There we go. Yeah. Now you're going to see what I mean by damage. By good goddamn damage. You guys should all stand back for this one. You really should stand back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. <laughs> 16. I like how it's just the flat bottom of the head. Yeah, I know. 17. 17 hits. Ow! So 17 times effectively 10,000. Oh, I do gotta fuck up your hands. Okay. Nope. Wait, yeah. Maybe not. So, the, the Lionheart will Lionheart itself will do 170,000, and then then the attack before it will inflict, you know, seven hits at around like 5,000, so about 35,000. Yeah, about 40,000. So one use of Lionheart does about 210,000 damage. And Ultima Weapon only has a maximum of 160,000 HP. Damn. So if, you, if you're able to get Squall to use Lionheart right off the bat, then Ultima Weapon is completely negated in terms of difficulty. Omega Weapon has like 1.1 million, and so you're still... It still takes a little while. And you're still, it's, you're still uh, reliant on RNG. And I'm not going to mash this out. Nah. I just don't want to. Nah. I'm pretty sure this will be sufficient. I feel like Eden Eden was the breaking point for summon animations in Final Fantasy. Like they were pretty long in seven, some of them, especially Knights of the Round. Yeah. But at least Knights of the Round was basically a lion heart every time you used it. This is literally a minute and a half, and it does good damage, admittedly, but unboosted, it's only sixteen thousand. I like to imagine the uh storyboarding or like set you know how you hear about Saturday Night Live where the writers sit around and talk about their, yeah. their ideas uh -huh. I imagine the creators of this game doing that with summons like, <laughs> alright so then the beast appears mm -hmm. and then they shoot him into space and then time goes backwards or something and then the earth becomes a clock puzzle 
and then we're like, boring, we've done space before. One, two, three, four. You can tell how many attacks that's going to be based on uh, the camera angle when he first starts. Uh, and I believe he has a greater chance of using Lionheart if he gets the longer ones where he hits seven, or sometimes even eight times. Though eight times might only be with specific bosses. Because certain bosses have unique... Um, Rather, his limit break has unique animations of certain bosses. Like when you fight Ultima and Omega Weapon, he jumps up to the the top part of their body because they're basically mm. like big centaurs. Think about Ultima Weapon from Seven, and he just fucks them up there. And as he's fucking them up, he's knocking them back on their back feet, and then he knocks them to the ground. <laughs> Wizard Stone, Life Ring, Magic Omelet, Magic Omelet. I go for a Magic Omelet right now. Oh, what's going on here? So it's one of these puzzles where like, oh, you gotta get them all open at once, which I'm just gonna brute force. But they go through a few different art styles in that mm -hmm. episode just to like kind of appease the fans. Like, is this what you want? Like, <laughs> what do you just want more cartoon violence? Like, yeah. is, is cartoon violence better when it's more realistic than when it's cartoony goofy violence? Like, it's pretty good. I hate these puzzles. Yeah, I hate. I never. My, for some reason, my brain just can't do these logically. I just don't care. I will never care. I'll never care. Just like those mosaic puzzles where there's like a an image with one square of it missing, and you have to rotate them uh -huh. around. I will never care about those puzzles. Now, this thing looks badass. Yeah, it does. This thing's like the old. This thing looks like the ultimate. Uh, Behemoth. Yeah. Behemoth King. Except it's Catablepus. It has its own personal name. Sometimes Catablepus is just a behemoth. Sometimes it's its own kind of monster. They all start giggling at its name. Yeah. Stop laughing. I'm Catablepus. What do you humans plan to do against the likes of me? Well, first of all, I guess I'm going to summon Eden against you. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that, please. Don't. She doesn't like me too much. We had a falling out of sorts. And then I'm gonna have my buddy here just mess you all up. Yeah. Oh, -ho, how cute. <laughs> Dog paws. Okay, that one was eight. Oh man. Eight circle. That's 40,000, and Catablepus only has a maximum of 60,000 HP, according to this guide. Oh no, not Meteor. How will I ever, ever absorb this? By the way, you guys are in space now. Does that freak you out? A little bit. Well, we've been there before. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, we got back. It happens, you know. Space happens. Is that it? I guess that's what we did against the likes of you. Now let's see how to get the T in that. It's a little frustrating when the guy just like climbed the clock tower. I'm like, where the fuck is the clock tower? You can just find it and climb it. That's the next step. Although they do have these area maps. Okay, so T. Time to leave. Oh, fuck it. I'll find it. There we go. Whoop! Get the secret door. Oh, I see. Didn't quite understand That did not first. stand out, did it? No. Oh, yep. Now, Tiamat's basically Bahamut. Ah. Uh, Just evil. Evil Bahamut.
cooler looking Bahamut, but just Bahamut. <laughs> and apparently not as strong. No, I didn't want Eden. No, oh, fuck it. <laughs> I actually wanted to summon uh, D. What? D. I think that's its version of countdown. Instead of counting down from five, it's spelling something out. Death. Oh, I forgot to heal selfie. After I did that junction exchange. I just wish there was a skip. It's like, you've seen this? You want to see yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially because there's no boost or anything for this. It's like, let me just skip it. No, let me just skip it. But like I said, I feel like Eden, and maybe even this, was the breaking point for animations. Because after this, they were never this long again. In, in 9, they're long the first time you use them, and then there's like a 1 in 7 chance yeah. that they'll be long again. Damn it, I was hoping he was Renzo Kuken before Eden came out. May as well boost this. Anyway, back to the fight. <laughs> Eden takes some time. It takes some time. So that's good damage. That's real good damage. And now this. Yeah. Oh god, not blasting zone again. Apparently there's a super cute homeless cat at the house Ethel is babysitting at, and she's like, if I had a pet carrier, I'd bring it home to you. But that would kill Bob. Bob would just be dead. Hi, team. Well, man. you're dead. Blah, 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 blah. But you die hard, Tiamat. Wow. Presumably that is Bahamut, though. Yeah. Because if you use scan on it, it says that it was a GF that uh, Ultimicia corrupted. Ah. Uh. There's there's no other text talking about it. It's just that the fact that it's identical to Bahamut in terms of abilities and appearance, it just you know changed a little bit, and presumably at some point she acquired Bahamut. That's the last of that. Now let's go fight Ultimicia. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, I gotta climb this bell. Come on. None. There we go. YouTube has been suggesting other Final Fantasy VIII playthroughs that are going on right now from around the internet. And I look at them, and I see their videos are an hour and a half, two hours sometimes, and I get it. Sometimes I let a Final Fantasy video run to like 55 minutes, sometimes an hour. You know, especially the final ones that usually depend on how much story there is in it. But I feel like we're probably doing some of the better RPG playthroughs. That's good. I just have a feeling that we, we, we're we doing these about as well as they can be done. To toot my own horn. You know, we've done over a hundred of these so far. <laughs> yeah. Seven full Final Fantasy playthroughs. And we're not done yet. Not done yet. More to come. Break yeah. Before. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to cut the recording here in a moment. Just take a quick break. Okay, last save point before Ultimicia. We'll be back tomorrow. See you!